Hey everyone, Chloe underscore here and welcome back to another video. So today's video is long overdue and today I'm going to be talking about dust bunnies and all of their kissing cousins, Hotep Bay, Barbara the Builder, and women who overall have the pick me syndrome and or a strong pick me spirit. Now I will say that awareness about hypergamy is growing and that is because women are starting to have these open kinds of conversations about the quality of their lives and how to improve their lives. So dust bunny numbers are dwindling but don't get it twisted there is still and always will be uh, women, groups of women who have the mindset that having a man is better than having no man at all. That being the self-sacrificial ride or die chick who wears the cape is a lane worth driving, right? And that's their prerogative. Some women are stubborn goats. Some women like pain and most people learn the hard way because those are the facts of life. We all know that a hard head makes a soft behind. But moving on to a dust bunny. What is a dust bunny? A dust bunny is a woman who attracts, dates, live with, procreates, and makes excuses for dusty men. A dust bunny thinks it's her job know her duty to cater to a man who lacks resources, whose finances are not in, uh, a priority or in order. These are the type of women who date men who have long prison records, long rap sheets, men who are in and out of prison, men who are looking for surrogate mothers, men who lack ambition and drive, and hotep men who are usually woke and dusty. So uh, the dust bunny is a woman who expects very little in terms of financial support, financial stability, or the finer things in life. And more importantly, a dust bunny will forever have a built-in cover-up, a built-in lie, and excuse as to why her man can't get it together, especially when it comes to her man's ability to be a provider. A dust bunny is a dusty man's dream come true. And he will do anything in his power to groom her into putting herself last. A Dusty will tell a dust bunny that she doesn't need clothes, uh, she doesn't need to do her hair or her makeup to look good. A Dusty would elevate himself in her life as a fake king and condition his woman to participate in role reversal to the fullest. She will be the provider and he will be the receiver and she will jump through a circus ring on fire to make her man happy. A dust bunny is the woman who will coddle, cater and defend her poor excuse of a man till the ends of the earth. It doesn't matter that his work history is shoddy. It doesn't matter if he turned her soda, her sofa, uh, into an Airbnb. It doesn't matter if he turns her refrigerator into a soup kitchen. The dust bunny ain't going nowhere because at the heart of a of a dust bunny is a woman who lacks standards. These are the women who ne neglect their looks. They've been They've given up on their looks. These are the women who put their femininity on the back burner. And these women tend to be very clueless and lost about the purpose of having a man, which is to have a provider and a protector, right? A potential one, at least. It's about having a man who can defend you and your children's honor. Uh, it's about having a man who can, uh, who wants to marry you, who wants to provide, who wants to, uh, who can provide health benefits, who can leave you a will, right? And life insurance. Those are the things that a man is supposed to be bringing to the table, not dust. Dust bunnies are usually the overly uh, nice girls. They're the pushovers. They don't want to make waves. They're people pleasers and they are groomed by dusty men to get very little in return. And this is a big one. Dusty women, dust bunnies, they work very hard to, um, they try very hard to impress men. You know, they try by being super woke or by impressing men with their college degrees, their salaries, uh, their careers, their bank accounts, their ability to be overly, uh, independent, overly self-reliant, uh, for dust bunnies, it's all about impressing men when men should be impressing you. Men should be impressing women and they have really low to non-existent standards when it comes to dating and marriage. Dust bunny women are usually the ones that end up saying, uh, non-descriptive dumb stuff like, 
I just want a nice guy. I just want a man who is nice to me. I just want a guy who buys me food. I just want a guy to take out the trash or I just want a guy who, you know, to put it down in the bedroom. They have very low uh, expectations of men. You know, they have very uh, low, bare minimum expectations. Uh, these are the women that are willing to pay a man's bills. These are the women who get job applications for their man. These are the women who uh, give men money, you know, which is like giving a man an an allowance. They buy their man uh, extravagant gifts. They pay for dates. They buy, they buy their man clothes, you know, kicks. They pay for his car note. And it always backfires because men are never loyal to women who don't respect or value themselves. Men treat women according to how they treat themselves. And if a Dusty can get over by conning you out of your money, by scamming you, he just thinks you're dumb. He's not going to tell you that to your face, but he thinks you're dumb because in his conniving mind, he's happy that he caught a sucker, you know, but no matter what, men don't respect women that make it easy for them to use you because by nature, men like to be challenged. They like climbing mountains. Men like to chase. Men like to feel powerful. Even the broke, dusty ones are wired to feel this way. So if you're the woman who's doing it all, who's being masculine, who's doing all of the heavy lifting, a dusty is not going to be grateful. All a dusty is going to do is resent you. So here's what happens, ladies. Uh, you meet a Dusty, you have no standards, he sees the sucker in your eyes, he sniffs out your low self-esteem, and then you become his mark. Next thing you know, you're in a situationship where you're doing all of the giving, you're doing all of the heavy lifting, but a dust bunny will stay because she gets to feel like the martyr, right? And she dupes herself into believing that the more she does for her man, the more he will be loyal to her the more he will feel indebted to her until it backfires. That's when he starts stealing money out of your purse if he isn't doing it already, you know, driving your whip and using your debit card to impress the next chick because even a dusty man is still a man first and he will do whatever he can to recuperate his masculinity. So let's talk about what drives a woman to be a dust bunny. Um, I would say point blank, her low self-esteem and her low self-worth uh, perhaps the women in her family are dust bunnies. Perhaps her friends are dust bunnies. A lot of women are missing father figures who were providers. So it's a blind spot for a lot of women, particularly black women, until they get caught up and entangled in a dusty's spider web. So the... So the only way to stop attracting dusties is to invest in yourself. You have to improve your looks, ladies. You have to put yourself first. You have to lose weight, uh, dress feminine. Uh, I suggest that you subscribe to this channel uh, to improve your mindset when it comes to men. You've got to totally flip the script with hypergamy and femininity to win and to come out on top, especially when you are tired of attracting bums. You can't do the same thing. You can't neglect your looks. You can't walk around looking homely, looking like a busted can of biscuits, looking a hot mess, looking like you don't care about yourself and expect a man to provide for you in the way a man should. So that's all I have to say on this for now. Ladies, you can't run away from your femininity and then wonder why Dusty Ben want to know what's in your wallet. So let me know in the comment section, are you guilty of being a dust bunny and a dust magnet? Are the women in your family dust bunnies? P uh, yeah, that's it for now. Please like, share, and subscribe to be a part of the tribe and stay tuned for more videos to come. And I will catch up with you in the next one.